I'm going to show you how you can listen to signals coming from the International Space Station using just a $30 radio. So this is a Bofang K6 and the package I got came with a short stubby antenna and the longer antenna which has slightly better reception so with the longer antenna arm. Now you need to have the International Space Station above you and visible in the sky. So I recommend the European Space Agency, they have a nice website tracker that shows you where it's going. And there's a little green kind of circle around it that says, hey, if you're inside this circle, it's above the horizon for you. Um, but with a little radio like this, with a little antenna like this, you really want it to be pretty high in the sky. That means it's pretty close to you as well. Um, so you're really looking for the line to kind of cross right over you. So I'm in Florida, and any time I see the line kind of cross over the peninsula or get you know, really close to the, one of the coasts, I'll go and outside and try to pick it up. Now I have been able to get maybe 20 seconds of audio with this guy in my house just up high. I don't have a metal roof, I don't have any floors above me. Um, it may work inside for you, but most likely you're going to want to go outside to get the best signal. Oscar 6, Romeo Quebec. Charlie Oscar 6, Romeo Quebec. This is Kilo 2, Papa Lima Lima, Fox Mike 07. Oscar 6, Romeo Quebec. Charlie Oscar 6, Romeo Quebec, this is Kilo 2, Papa Lima Lima, Fox Mike 07. So we're specifically listening to an amateur radio repeater on the International Space Station. And the downlake frequency is specifically 437.800 megahertz. Um, that's in the 70 centimeter band for amateur radios. So you need a radio that will not just do the 2 meter band, but also the 70 meter band to listen to this. So all you really have to do is go outside and listen, um, and you'll probably get 30 seconds of people talking back and forth, relaying their call signs back and forth and trying to make connections with each other. Um, now, if you want to get more audio, there's some tricks you can do. So first of all, as the ISS is coming towards you, Doppler makes their frequency get higher. And then when they go right over you, it's at the 437.800. And as they move away from you, it gets lower. So you can adjust the frequency step by step on these radios to go up and down. Um, and so you start off a little higher than the ISS frequency. You wait till you hear it, and then you slowly move down um, as they go over you, and then keep moving down as they go away from you, away from the horizon. And you can get several minutes of audio that you can listen to. Now with a radio like this, you may not be able to broadcast up. Um, if you don't have a ham radio license, you can't do it legally. And also, you need to program it because the uplink, the frequency you broadcast to get up, is on the 2 meter band, not the 70 centimeter band. So we're not going to be talking about broadcasting in this video. We're just talking about listening. All right, so before we go outside, let's set up a few things. I have the downlink frequency as a channel. I've programmed it as a channel, so when I do my channel scan, it will basically always listen to that, and if they happen to be going overhead, I'll just, you know, start hearing them, you know, if I get the signal. But when you're actively going outside to look for them, you probably don't want to use channel mode. You want to hit the button and go to frequency mode, and then you want to have this guy at 437.800. Now, right now my squelch is turned on, and you definitely don't want squelch any higher than the one setting. Um, you might even go down to zero. So you go to menu, menu, and then you go on this particular radio, it's item number 23, which is squelch. And I have it set to one, but you could even set that lower to zero, which turns it off. Confirm. And when the squelch is turned off, the radio will play whatever it's hearing, even if it's just white noise. So if you're really going out just to get the ISS signal and you're out there listening for it, you probably want to turn your squelch to zero, um, and this way you can hear even the faintest noise coming from it. However, if you don't want the white noise bothering you all the time, I've found on this particular radio that a squelch of one, it'll, if you have intelligible signals, it will break through the squelch and you'll hear it on the radio. Now there's another thing that's important to do, um, which is your frequency stepping. On this particular radio, it's 044, that's the frequency step, and you want to basically put that to the lowest possible number. Um, and so you can see here my lowest possible number is 2.5 kilohertz. 
And what that means is that when you're here at 437.800, um, if you start going up, it's doing 2.5 kilohertz steps. And so if the ISS is just coming over the horizon and it's moving towards you quickly, you might hear it at 810. Um, you might hear it at 807. I started hearing it at 807, 50. Um, and then as it gets closer, you push down and every time you push down on the down arrow, you're basically going to get closer and closer to the actual frequency. So right when it's overhead, you'll be at 800. And then as it starts moving away from you, you keep pushing down and it'll start going down a little bit. So at the end of this video, I'll have a video of me actually doing this and you'll see I'm kind of going back and forth between different settings and I'm saying hey I get the, the best audio right there and as the audio degrades I'll go down a step and usually the audio gets better until the ISS goes away. All right so in about 30 minutes the International Space Station is going to go right down the coast of Florida. It's about 80 miles away from me but they're up high in the sky so I should have direct line of sight and we're going to try shifting the Doppler frequency on the receiver to see if I can get um, reception for a longer period of time. Alright, I'm picking up at 802. All right, it is better at 802.50 than 800. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, 73 from South Carolina. Somebody from South Carolina, down in Florida. All right, switching to 800. So now we're getting good signals at 800. Alright, I moved to 797. It's moving away from us now. I think it's going out of range for me here. So that's how you listen to the International Space Station with nothing more than a $30 radio. Now there's lots of improvements you can make here. You can build a Yagi antenna, get better signal. Um, you can get a better radio that has more sensitivity. Um, you can get a better radio that has more transmit power. Um, and we can set things up so that in addition to listening, if you have a ham radio license, you can talk up to the station and it'll rebroadcast your voice back down for other people to hear.